OK, girls, I'm here to solve all your wardrobe dramas. If you're on a credit crunch budget, if your wardrobe is full of clothes you just do not wear, if you're too big, too small or simply confused, watch this face. Ladies, you lot spend on average two grand a year on clothes and a whopping 86% of you have brought clothes you've never worn. What a waste. Tonight, I'll be teaching one lady that less really is more when I hijack her hideous wardrobe. <laughs> and teach her how to choose essential key pieces that she can wear each and every day. My less is more mantra continues as I try and get showbiz designer diva Scylla Black into High Street Clobber. I am not used to this, Goth. What are you doing to me? Well, you look like you're absolutely terrified. I am. <laughs> and larger than life, ladies, there's no need to waste your cash on clothes that just don't fit. Rotherham ladies shake their booties as they test the best boots on the British high street. I'm just cry, I'm just get her off now and just throw them. It's really horrible. <laughs> By knowing how to shop less but wear more, you never have to fear your wardrobe again. You've got a front row seat on Gox Fashion Fix. <laughs> Now, you don't need to break the bank to look gorgeous. Forget the designer labels. Credit Crunch Couture is the real deal. Tonight, we've got our fourth catwalk showdown in the heart of bustling Birmingham, where fashion fanatic Brit Smith Star and I will be going head-to-head. -head. In a catwalk showdown, she'll be selecting four designer looks with unlimited budgets. And I'll be hunting down the same, but all from the great British High Street, proving you don't need a wad in your wallet to look wonderful. But will the public vote for Dear Designer Gear or My Hot Looks for Less? Last week, I was the winner. <laughs> so now, 2-1 to me, can Brix raise her game? I've got something that's so jaw-dropping and brain-numbing, it's going to blow your high street seams apart. Well, do you know what? I hope so, because it might take our attention off your outfit. See you later. <laughs> oh, he can talk, Mr. Leather Jacket Man. One of the biggest complaints I hear is I've got absolutely nothing to wear, but come on, girls, I know the truth. Your wardrobes are absolutely crammed with clothes. Well, I have a brand new mantra, buy less, but wear more. I'm going to prove later on by having just 24 well-chosen pieces in your wardrobe, you never need to have a bad clothes day again. I'm in sunny Seaford, East Sussex, to meet a clothes hoarder who's in desperate need of a wardrobe detox. <laughs> Forty-three-year-old biker chick Tracy is your typical tomboy and loves nothing more than pulling on the leathers, and she's definitely more butch than they. The bike, it's Tracy. I just love the whole bike culture. I can go and just put my crash hat on and just really totally be me. I don't really sort of dress like a lady should. I would say Tracy's style day-to-day um, -day basis is sort of like casual and that I'm comfortable. Maybe, you know, I might get slammed for this, but I like to see women in skirts. No chance. Tracy's closet is crammed full of bland, boyish clothes. She just doesn't know how to look feminine, so she sticks with her favourite uniform of boring white T-shirts. Everywhere I go, I tend to go and, <laughs> and buy another T-shirt just out of a pile. They all actually pretty much look the same, so, so there's not a lot of variation between them, really, which is a bit sad. This one comes from America. It's nice and big, nice and baggy, totally impractical, but they're really good fun. <laughs> I, like, I buy a lot of things in blue and white, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> but thankfully, there's more to Tracy than our obsession for butch basics. Trace is about to take on the responsibility of Mayor of Seaford. But who's going to take her seriously dressing like this? The Mayor is expected to attend over 100 functions within a year. And I don't want to let the town down by going out in the same drabby thing. I need to inject a little bit of elegance, I think. So I need help, really. <laughs> the dilemma that I have is my clothes don't reflect who I am. I need the discipline to say, you will look all right in this, and actually start being a lady.
Have no fear, Tracy. Your wardrobe woes are over. Unbeknown to her, I've seized her shocking wardrobe to hang up here on Seaford Beachfront. So what I'm doing here is I'm lining up all of her clothes on this huge washing line just to prove that she's actually got not very much to wear at all. Because, number one, I suspect half the stuff doesn't fit her, and number two, it all looks the bloody same. Tracy's about to meet me, Mr Makeover. Time to show her where she's been going wrong. Hi, I think someone <gasps> ordered a fashion <laughs> 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 Oh, my darling. Oh, my Who are you? Ooh. Oh, Look, are you Tracy, by chance? Yeah. Right, so listen, catch your breath. Today, we're going to sort out your wardrobe. OK. All right, but I've got a little surprise for you before we okay. do anything, so come with me. OK. <laughs> OK, so what is this fascination you've got with T-shirts? Because they're quite practical. And would you wear a T-shirt down on this beach, do you think? Yes. You would? Yes. Would you wear one of those T-shirts? <laughs> <laughs> Just like Tracy, most of you are totally unaware of how many clothes you actually own. Tracy's awful attire consists of four suits, six pairs of boots, a ridiculous 37 pairs of trousers, a whopping 34 coloured t-shirts and a jaw-dropping 55, yes, 55 white t-shirts. Her closet contains a hefty total of 238 items. We're going to work out exactly what fits you, what you should be wearing, but most importantly, what you absolutely should not be wearing. And I think that's going to be the easiest thing, because there is a whole lot of tut on that washing line. Right, should we start here, then? Let's work, and then we'll work our way down. They were my holiday trousers. <laughs> were they? Do you know what I'll do? I'll go on holiday and I'll make myself look hideous. <laughs> right, okay. So what about these, Martin? Oh my god, that's my underwear! <laughs> I have to say, this is probably the most feminine part of your wardrobe. Excuse me for my clothes, Honestly, I've got nothing to wear. Good! This is going. <laughs> this is going. That's going. That's going. And that's going. Some people collect crockery. <laughs> Other people collect stamps. You collect white T-shirts. It's horrid! Oh, I haven't even worn that one! No, you haven't. Good. Well, it doesn't matter, cos you've got another 75 the same. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. You need to be embarrassed. I would say probably 80% of these can go in the bin. Okay. So you're going to do this line now. It'll be ruthless. Go on, do it. I'm going to do this one. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. Come on, I... be ruthless. Go on, that's it. <laughs> All right, OK, keep on going. So... Tracy, be honest now, the clothes that are left on the line, does that really reflect who you are as a person? No. It tells me that I'm just a real plain Jane with not a lot of life, really. Can I rephrase that? I would say a plain gym. <laughs> I want some femininity, okay. I want some sex, I want some personality, I want some humour. OK, yeah. yeah. It's all about moving forward. Yeah. <laughs> With 80% of her wardrobe on its way to the charity shop, is Tracy ready to bring out her girly side? It's quite scary, really. Yeah, but you know what? It's, it's, it's healthy for you to get rid of all this. Yeah. Coming up, legendary entertainer Scylla Black reveals how she splashes her cash. I have actually paid over £5,000 to go to New York. To get jeans? To get my American jeans. You yeah. are joking me. And in the battle of designer versus high street, blonde bombshell Bricks tries to raise her game. I have found the most jaw-dropping, stunning thing. Yes! Yes! Now, you don't need to be a slave to fashion to be a style icon, and you do not need to spend a fortune to look a million dollars. And to prove it, I'm hitting the high street to get four sassy looks for less. While the original shopaholic Bricksmith star will be splashing the cash on designer. And this week, she's trying to raise her game by using vintage. You want to come see some clothes, baby? Pixie! I'm going to put vintage down the catwalk. This is from the 1990s. It's a remake of the original Chanel dress from the 1920s. Timeless! 
I really love this vest. It's cashmere. It's all hand sequined. If you could afford it, it's a lovely piece. Pixie Bee, come! Warm summer night air on my skin makes me feel sensuous, sexy, relaxed. For those nights, you need a dress. And this, I would think, is it. Girls, girls, stop! Oh my God, something's, someone's put catnip in the dog food. <laughs> this dress is by Philip Lim. A lot, it's 775, but it's encrusted with Swarovski crystals. It's totally floaty and feminine and just entrancing. And this is just the lovely, most romantic summer evening dress. I have found the most jaw-dropping, stunning thing from Matthew Williamson. Yes! 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 Look at that dress. The high street can never compete. This is red carpet at its best. Beat that, gawk. Tracy, biker chick stroke future mayor, has been convinced to ditch the majority of her boyish wardrobe. Now, the key to buying less and wearing more is to learn to shop for your shape. So I'm putting Tracy into various cuts of clothing to show her what suits her and what doesn't. First up, it's jackets. What's your overall thought of these six images? There's a shape under there, OK. Isn't there? Do you think you can identify your body shape from there? Because I can tell you what it is, but what do you think it is? I think I'm a bit of a pear. You <laughs> are a bit of a pear, but that's fine. <laughs> Which one is your favourite jacket in there? This one. Right, OK. Well, it's, it, it's cute, it's nice, but I have to say, it's a little bit either too young or too frumpy. This jacket is ideal if you've got big bangers, but it's not emphasising Tracy's curves. This crop jacket is cutting Tracy in two at the widest part of her torso. This shape is for the waspish waist only. What is this jacket now doing to your shape? It's not giving me any shape. <laughs> it's a bit butch. Yeah. I don't think this is very attractive. No. All right. OK. What do you think about this one? Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that. I'm just a bit worried about the shoulders. This is a simple black 40 style jacket. It's interchangeable. It's a really, really classic piece in your wardrobe. If anything, your shoulders need to be broadened... OK. ..to put you back in proportion. And that's what these little balloon sleeves do. They're called puffball sleeves. I think that's the winner. Next, it's dresses. What's your first thoughts? <gasps> I've got a pair of legs. <laughs> You've got a pair of legs? Do you like yourself in a dress? I never feel comfortable in a dress because it's usually the wrong shape or the wrong size. It's so, so important to get the right shape. Cap sleeves are always going to broaden you, mm -hmm. yeah? I think it's broadened you too much because look what your arms are doing now in relation to your hips. <laughs> yeah. I think I look like a hobbit. Do you think you should be looking after the shire? <laughs> yeah, Protecting with me, your ring. With me hairy toes. Absolutely, with your hairy toes. <laughs> This Empire Line dress is ideal if you want to hide your tummy and thighs, but if you've got the confidence, I say, show off those sexy curves. This one is the winner for me, definitely. I love this dress on you. Number one, I love the colour. I think okay. it really suits you. It goes great with your skin tone. All right. And it's a little bit out there. Yeah. So when you're going out there meeting the dignitaries, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're going to know when you've walked in the room. Shift dress will always be in every single season. So you can wear this this season, okay. leave it for six months, then get it out again, and no one's really going to know the difference. Yeah. Finally, it's skirts. I love a good pencil skirt, but this high waisted number works better on taller girls. As for this precious pink skirt, the colour's too harsh for Tracy and the extra volume makes her hips look wider than they actually are. Skirts probably are the hardest thing to style on a woman. I love this. Number one, the stripes are elongating you. Yep. They make you look taller. As long as you're careful about what you wear up top, I think this skirt is brilliant. It's a classic piece and it will always, always be in fashion. You know, there's some great fashion out there, and it's mm. for the picking. Yeah. All right, do you see that? Yeah, I do now. I didn't before, and, and now I do. Ding dong. Tracy's new key buys are a black fitted 40 style jacket, a simple green shift dress, and a navy striped pleated skirt. My next step is to show her the joys of owning a capsule wardrobe of just 24 key items selected by moi, all from the high street. I know she's going to love it, and I guarantee. You lot will want one too. From 60s songstress to the queen of Saturday night TV, Miss Cilla Black is a national treasure. 
and every step of the way this fashion follower has only ever shopped in the fanciest boutiques and designer stores. She says she doesn't do the high street but I'm determined to get my new mate back in and on to the great British high street. Yeah, I love it. I am not used to this, Goch. What are you doing to me? Well, you look like you're absolutely terrified. I am terrified. <laughs> what do you think the high street can't provide to you? Well, a decent pair of quality jeans. Right, I have okay. to have bespoke jeans and I have to have really expensive jeans because I live in my jeans when right. I'm not on camera. OK, start running around. We need to pull some stuff. <laughs> Pull some stuff. Pull and I'm going to pull some too, all right, lovely? All right, Steve. Okay, right, you ready? I'll, yeah, okay, go. Okay, Phila Black does the high street. Go. <laughs> go on, go, go. Now, where do I look first? I love those jeans. I would not wear them over here. Right. But I would wear them in Barbados. Right, okay, then. And Why Florida? in Barbados and might not in England? I can totally relax in Barbados. I'm the reckless old age pensioner abroad. I love it. Do you wear a shell suit and a pair of flip flops? No, I don't do flip flops. <laughs> I love I that. I don't do flip flops, but I do platforms. I love platforms. Right, and platform. I always wear heels, actually. So maybe abroad. we can get you a nice pair of jeans with a platform. That yeah. works. So look, classic pair of jeans from the high street. These are only 40 quid. Wow. Right, 40 quid, which is not bad, but if you buy an expensive designer pair, you're looking at, what, maybe 200 quid? I have actually paid over £5,000 to go to New York. To get jeans? To get my American jeans. You yeah. are joking me. I'm not joking you, and I'm ashamed. Oh, my God, so basically, that's £5,200 for a pair of jeans. Yeah. You've got the most expensive arse in the business. <laughs> you know that, don't you? will not find me a you pair watch of me. jeans. You watch me, right. I'm I think for you... About a 32. So let's get these. Babe, can I get these in a 32 leg? I love them. Any girls that wear heels this high shouldn't have to walk anywhere, all right? Well, I wouldn't need to, would I? Because I've got a Bentley. You've got... I, I, you're, and the it's only a grey one. That would go really good. The only person ever with a Bentley to shop with me on the high street. Quite amazing. <laughs> I have never met a woman who wants to coordinate her heels with her wheels, but our sitter's going to be a tough one to crack. Later, I'm going to prove to her she doesn't need to spend a Laura Laura money to look a Laura Laura stylish. Right, so I want you now to get your kit off, slip into those jeans and those pair of black heels over there, and I'll be back, all right, Tiger? Gah, that's the best offer I've had all week. <laughs> Tonight, the lady in Le Boutin has been pounding the streets of London to find her four looks for our catwalk face-off. I'm on a winning streak, so I'm off to the shops to find four killer pieces for a lot, lot less. Bricks has splashed out £775 on his long, floaty dress, but I can get a similar dress for less. Here we go. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got a halter neck dress with a beautiful, oh my God, a beautiful print. This is a summer essential piece for any woman, any shape, any size. This is money well spent. Next, you don't need to spend a whopping £2,800 to add a bit of sparkle to your wardrobe. OK, so this is just absolutely perfect for sparkle and shine. And a lot of big designers over the years have just released so much sequin stuff with embellishment, and it's the quickest and easiest way to update any wardrobe to make it feel slightly more glam. This, to me, is very well made, a little bit cheeky. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with a bit of vintage, but don't forget the high street is bursting with inspirational pieces too. I've just found the most fabulous black jacket and once I've teamed it together with a beautiful pencil skirt, a great little top and great hair and makeup, this is going to rock the runway. And finally, you don't need to throw silly money on summer workwear. The high street do it all for a lot, lot less. So, a long suiting blazer. These are huge this season. Nice and relaxed. It's relaxed because of the material. It's like a linen. Gorgeous. Now, even though they look quite casual, but they've got loads and loads of detailing on. Really cute, massive turn-ups. I think that with that, a nice little vest top, this is going to look gorgeous on that runway. I've got some impressive high street buys, but first they need the Auntie Gok treatment. 
I've got this wonderful sequined kimono dress. I've got this silver belt. I've got some silver shoes. And I've got some chopsticks that I'm going to turn silver. So, come on, Sabrina, my darling. And we're going to slip you straight into this fabulous sequined kimono. It nips Sabrina right in on the waist. And these beautiful flute sleeves add loads of movement. Next, I'm going to add some chopsticks into Sabrina's hair. And all I've done is I've sprayed them silver with this basic paint, but first of all, shoes. So fabulous statement heels. We love these. And then one chopstick sticking in that way, one sticking in that way. And this is futuristic Japanese sequined fabulousness. Next up is my Goktastic Summer Nights look. And let me tell you, girlfriends, it's all about getting the right dress. Now, I have got this absolutely beautiful halternet dress. Girls, halternet dresses are probably the easiest thing for women to wear because they do suit most body shapes. If you do have a pear shape, which basically means you're bigger on the bottom than you are on the top, halternet dresses are great because they broaden your shoulders, which put you back in proportion. Now, a little tip, girls. When you are wearing a halter neck dress, the easiest way of getting your bangers in the right position is to put it on with the bra, because the bra keeps them where they should be, and then when you take the bra off, voila, bangers where they need to be. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in different accessories. So I'm going to add on now this metallic belt. My darling. Again, it's all about texture and all about proportions. And I'm going to bring it together with a big pair of Statement Hills in silver. Right, there we go. Summer fashion. Coming up, our Rotherham ladies line up to road test the best boots on the British high street. Zits fell off. <laughs> and my blind date continues with the queen of showbiz. Have you got that in a 14, Angel? It's for Cilla Black. You What's shouted out the whole of the store. You do know I'm TV's oh, Mr. Nice Guy, and you're ruining my entire <laughs> image, don't you, Cilla? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, every single one of you deserve to look and feel absolutely fabulous. So this week, with the help of my Rotherham Road testers, we're checking out the best boots on the British High Street. And believe me, it's going to be one big song and dance. <laughs> Here we are again with our fashion friends. The raunchy road testers from Rotherham are putting fashion for the fuller figure through its paces. The girls range from a curvy size 16 to a voluptuous 28. They're big, beautiful, and they want to look good. <laughs> a perfect pair of knee-high boots is on every girl's wish list, but a good fit can sometimes be mission impossible. Because I've got wide calves, the only ones I can get are stretchy boots and they fall down all the time. But they're not really what you'd put on to go pulling in. I can't get a pair of knee-high boots to fit because I've got big, fat elephant feet. So out with the old and in with the new. <laughs> the Rotherham ladies are kicking up their heels in true country style as they go line dancing. They're testing the best eight boots available for the chunkier calf. And first up, Will they fit? Iris's stretchy style from m and are straight on. Really easy, just like a pair of socks. The office's black leather option is proving a real squeeze. They feel really tight. Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to get them back off. <laughs> Despite the wider fit around the calf on this tan pair, Joe's really feeling the pinch. They will fit me eventually. I'll have to, because I like them. Now they're on, let's find out if these boots are made for dancing. Hit it, girls. Five, six, seven, eight. Toe and step, toe and step. Left side close. It's a two-hour lesson, so these boots are going to go through some serious stomping. Joe's purple suede are available in six different calf sizes. I love these boots, but the suede, and they're going to catch every bit of dirt. And if they get wet, they're going to be ruined. Duo's classic biker boots are made to measure based on the widest part of your car. These boots are so perfect. They're unbelievable, but they're just a bit plain and boring. Midway through and the dancing is taking Let's its toll. Kick, kick. When I first put them on, they were lovely, but dancing in them, they're like clogs. On the other hand, Sally's dancing up a storm in her bespoke boots. Comfy calves guaranteed. 10 out of 10 for comfort to feel absolutely marvellous. I could just 
dance all night in these non-stop. But there's a dance floor disaster. Joe Zip can't take the strain. Just going to zip them up, see if I can get any further up and zips fell off <laughs> and <it> zip. <laughs> but it's not just boots that are falling apart. Really pinching my feet, back of my heel. I just cry, I just get them all off now and just throw them. Really horrible. <laughs> Let's get these boots off and move on to the scores. Harder than you think. These boots are so comfy, but they're really, really ugly, so I'm going to give them a seven. Comfortable, stylish and elegant, I'll give them a ten. These boots are great, really comfortable, but the fabric's rubbish. I give them an eight. For under £50, you can't go wrong. So for that reason and for comfort, it's a definite nine. These boots really pass the comfort test, and I'd give them a nine for that, but overall, because I couldn't get them off myself, a six. I absolutely love these boots. They're my dream boots. They're absolutely gorgeous, but sadly the zip broke, so I have to give them an eight. I love the look of these boots, but they're too heavy, and if I'd have bought them, I'd have never worn them again. And for that reason, they're having a five. I really like the look of these boots, but they're so uncomfortable, so I'm going to give it a three. So the winning pair of fittedbootstore.com grabbing first place. I'm having him. Yes, I'm having him. <laughs> Next week, the ladies are putting jeans through their paces at the Rotherham Rodeo. The fashion face-off with designer diva Bricksmith Star is drawing closer. I've already got two looks in the bag, but now I'm going to show you how to be a true fashionista with this timeless black outfit. Women in the UK wear more black than any other colour, but girls, don't be mistaken, it might be slimming, but it still needs a little bit of choreography. We're going to start with a pair of pattern tights. I want these lace legs to be part of the base. Next, a skirt in a stretchy, dense fabric ensures a smooth, sexy silhouette as the layers build up. Add a sheer ship on a lace blouse. Beautiful. A chunky leather patent belt to trim the waist and a figure-hugging jacket. And this is doing all the work for me because it's fitted with elastic in there. Now time for some gok magic. So what I have here is I have a corsage, about a quid from the high street, and I've got these little tassels that come in about 30 pence. I've already put two on, but I'm going to add one more just there to give it a nice dangly effect. And then I'm going to add on this cheap cameo on top. OK, there you go. Contemporary brooch. Finally, the obligatory black clutch bag. I don't care what anyone says, no one is going to know when this goes down the runway whether Brick styled it up or I did from the high street. Hi! Hi. I'm back in East Sussex to continue my fashion fix with biker chick Tracy. She's about to become mayor of Seaford, but she lost my vote when I saw her hideous wardrobe. I would say probably 80% of these can go in the bin. So after ditching all her old scruffy casuals, I've then taught her the key to buying less and wearing more is to know what suits her shape. It's so, so important to get the right shape. Tracy's on the road to recovery. And so I've hand-picked Tracy a brand new wardrobe and I'm about to unveil it to her. And these 24 key pieces are going to be all the answers to her wardrobe woes. Tracy's new capsule wardrobe consists of one pair of great fitting jeans, a classic pair of navy trousers, two jackets which can be dressed up or down, one pleated skirt and a classic pencil skirt. Four pairs of shoes, ideal for work or nights out. One pinstripe waistcoat, one versatile jumper and two tops in mix and match colours. Two ultra-feminine dresses that fit like a glove. Two belts and three killer bags. Two scarves add a splash of colour. And finally, a statement necklace to accessorise. So what will Tracy think of my handiwork? Right, come with me then, gorgeous. So, my little lovely... I would like to formally introduce you to your brand new wardrobe. Oh my god. Do you love it? I do. Do you I love really it? I do. What's the first thing that jumps out to you? This. This. All right, so the beautiful, beautiful fitted shift dress with this stunning belt around it. Look at the detail on the know. back. It's do you so love it? Girly. Yes. It's very, it's very, very girly. Yeah. So should we start trying some of this stuff on? Yeah. Yes. Let's do this. So, girls, here's this week's tips for building a capsule wardrobe. 
first, for any working girl, it's essential to have plenty of tailored pieces to create numerous smart work outfits. You can turn around and you can formally introduce yourself to the mayoress of Seaford. Ding dong. All right, you ready? <gasps> it's gorgeous. I'm a lady. You're a lady. <laughs> And this is a really simple grey shift dress. It hugs you on your silhouette, and then this hemline just here accentuates your hips. So I'm going to add on this little black jacket. OK, so I'm just adding on a waist belt now on top of that join okay. to nip in that fabulous little waist. So it turns this dress into a skirt. So basically, it's interchangeable. People are going to think, oh, fabulous skirt. And when the jacket comes off, oh, my God, amazing dress. Basically, you've got two looks for the price of one. Yeah. Amazing. Fabulous. Tracy's got this tailored look totally nailed. The short sleeve jacket can be teamed with the stripy top, black skirt and fun accessories for a more playful look. Or replace the skirt with the jeans for a night out on the town. Or get noticed with a brighter colour underneath. Tip number two. You don't have to be bang on trend. Choosing classic cuts and styles are a sure way to stand the test of time. And so this is now a slightly more grown-up look. <laughs> so this is your Michelle Obama, Jackie O styling. <laughs> I'm going to get this bag, and then we've got this beautiful necklace just here. OK, okay you ready? So yeah. one, two, three. Oh, my God, I'm in green. This is a simple green shift dress. I've sculpted it in with a belt. Gorgeous shoes. And you know what's brilliant is this sleeve here, three-quarter length sleeves, they hit you right on your waist. It makes your waist look smaller. So another little tip for you there. And, of course, we've got out one of your best features, your legs. <laughs> what do you like best about it? Just the colour, actually, which I would never have thought I'd have ever worn green. Simplicity is the key for Tracy, and this frock works a treat on her. The pea green shift can also be worn with his stripy top for an uber cool layered look. Or with the red jacket for a day at the town hall. Or simply accessorise for a vibrant summer look. My final tip this week go easy on patterns as they're hard to mix and match. Stick to a couple of styles. In Tracy's case, it's spots and stripes. One, two, three. <gasps> what do you think of it? Gorgeous. Very girly. Love it. Absolutely love it. This is my favourite. Is it? Yeah. Just the whole colour and the stripe. I never wear stripes. Vertical That's... stripes, great for making you tall and skinny. Yeah. Absolutely. And then what we've done is we've clashed it with the blue and white polka dot as well to give it a little bit of creativity. Mm -hmm. Very chic. It's very chic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very. I think this is the ultimate work, rest and play look for the new Mayor of Seaford. She could also take off the jacket and swap the red shoes for the comfy wedges. Or use the navy jumper with neutral creams for a sophisticated work look. Or bring back the red jacket and pair it with a stripy top and jeans for a chilled day by the sea. So has Tracy learned how to mix and match her new girly wardrobe? Do you reckon now, in this grid, you'd be able to pull outfits together? Yes. OK, choose me an outfit, quickly. Um, the dress and the black jacket. Yeah, another um, one. This top, the stripy top with those trousers. Absolutely perfect. I have got hair and makeup ready now to revamp you completely. Later on, I've invited your friends and family here that are going to come and see you in your final look so you can turn around and say, hello, everyone, this is the brand new Tracy. OK. Are you excited? Yeah, let's do this. Right, let's go. <laughs> Miss Bling Silla Black lives in designer boutique, so shopping on the high street is a bit of a culture shock. So will the coolest leathers on the shop floor prove to her that cheap can be chic? We'll have a little butcher's round here. I'm just going where he takes me. Have you got that in a 14, Angel? It's for Scylla Black. 40? I, there's no way I'd rather... Here, don't shout. I'd rather go on Scylla, a diet. There ain't no shouting. way I'm going to oh wear God, a 14. Yeah, like that's me. All right, it's fine. The eight was perfect. Eight. <laughs> Eight, it's fine. It's she looks not... great. She's you my second language. You shouted out the whole of the store. Oh, no, I didn't, honestly. Girls, didn't you hear him? Get the 14. 14. You do know I'm 14. TV's Mr Nice Guy and you're ruining my entire <laughs> image, don't you, Silla? Now, come now on. that was uncomfortable. Come on, Rockstar, let's go. I love it. 
You see, I this is it. the high street cellar. You're coming around, aren't you? Mira? What do you think, girl? Cellar, look. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Fit. What Fish, size bash, bosh. Is this? this is a size 10. Size 10, you see. Why look is he that. shouting out about 14? I'll never let you forget that. I'm really sorry. But I do oh, I love, love this on you. Am I forgiving because it's a nice jacket? Yes. Right, fabulous. I'm thanking this lush leather for getting me back in with Miss Black after Sizegate. But can I convince her to buy High Street denim? You've brought me to the High Street, a fabulous store, and I normally drink Moe Chandon champagne. You've even got me High Street <laughs> champagne. Right, so I want you now to get your kit off, slip into those jeans and those pair of black heels over there, and I'll be back, all right, Tiger? Gosh, that's the best offer I've had all week. <laughs> all year, actually. <laughs> Where's the jeans? You're looking very foxy. And not a muff. A muffin. A muffin that's top. Exactly. All me. You paid five thousand pounds on a flight to go to America. Yeah. And you were paid a, probably, I would say, 180 to 200 quid for the actual jeans. Yes. All right, so 5,200 quid on a pair of jeans. Yeah. All right. If you'd bought these, yeah. you wouldn't have jet lag. No. And you would have saved, are you ready? Five thousand one hundred and sixty-five <gasps> quid. Five thousand one hundred and sixty-five quid, because these are thirty-five quid. These jeans are unbelievable. You know have I now oh, brought, turned you yes. into a high street diva? Totally. They are I love it. Love absolutely it, love gorgeous. It, love it. Well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to want to finish and style it up. So you turn round, because Silla's getting knackered. So Miss Silla Black, you are head to toe from the British High Street. What do you think? Is it a good thing? I think it's fabulous. I honestly, God. I wasn't looking forward to it because I ate shopping, <laughs> but look at this rock chair. I know, check you out. I mean, you look absolutely gorgeous. So the jeans fit you perfectly. Yep. We've got the leather jacket. Mm -hmm. You look confident. I you am. look very, very sexy. Yeah. And you know what? It didn't cost you either a £5,000 plane ticket to get it. No, it didn't. So my high street blind date with Scylla's been a stunning success. And I've dressed her in high street without spending a Laura Laura money. And you know, I'm looking at myself and I'm saying, Bring on the boys! <laughs> um... Back in Birmingham, the pressure's on as we prepare for our fashion face-off. Soon our audience of shoppers will decide whether they prefer lavish labels by Bricks or My Lux for Less, all from the Great British High Street. But first, it's my chance to get a peek at Bricks' budget-busting outfits. Bricks! What have we got this week, then? I'm a bit nervous. OK, this this one you should be scared of, definitely. This right. one should make your knees wobble. This was picked up in a second-hand store. Right. How much? 120 pounds. Do you know what? But I love that, right? So th this should really be on my side. No, because bring it back. I'm having it's it. It's mine. It's a designer. It's mine. It's mine. I love it. 120 quid. You, uh, do you know what? Absolutely. I would say everyone out there, if you can find a bit of vintage Chanel like this, Buy it for 120 quid. You did well, girl. Thank you. This right. is Natasha Stoll. Okay. Heavy silk, beautiful, Brilliant. delicious, slouchy. Natasha can have it back. Okay, you don't like that. Do you not think it looks a little bit you got it from a costume store? No. Oh, well. Okay, so what accessories do we have then? We've got these fantastic Gucci loafers. Now, Gucci. these are nice. They're classic, right? Yeah, that, yeah, like yeah. The classic loafer with a wedge, so they're comfortable yeah. to wear. Do you know what? I've got a pair of shoes over there that are going to absolutely wet themselves all over those. All right, let me see those shoes. Right, you take... No, you're going to see them on the runway. No, you I'm going to see them now. No, you'll, you'll no, see them. You will stay. Mine. You will ah. stay. You will stay right here, right now, you. All right? <laughs> I need to shout about something, and I've not shouted enough yet, so I'm just going to go. All right, I'm going. Well, let's hope I've got something to shout about after tonight's catwalk showdown. But before all that, we've still got to style up our fourth and final look. One of the biggest problems in the summer is what do women wear when they have to go to work? What do you do for summer work wear? Well, we're going to start with a pair of cargo shorts. So these are just about tailored enough to look smart. This incredible vest. It's made of cashmere and it's all hand sequined. A glittering mermaid fish from the bottom of the sea. The next thing we're going to add is a fabulous pair of high-heeled shoes. Now, in the same colour tone. Now, they've got a front wedge and they've got a stiletto. You need a jacket. It's quite delicious and slouchy and elegant. Now, I'm going to add on an oversize cardigan in the same hues again. So it's all beiges and naturals and sands. We know that Gok is so strong on his accessories that I've got to... I'm, I'm now going to run through Selfridges and look for the perfect bag. So, come on, Carol. The fear is set in, but even some last-minute shopping can't help you now, Brixter. Really need, like, a nice neutral colour. 
I want to see what town. Less like. talking, more styling bricks. A big oversized jacket. This is the key look this season. But to give it that nice little edge, I'm now going to roll these sleeves up so we show the lining. What about this one? <laughs> How? Yes, we love Christian Dior. Yes, we love Christian Dior. <gasps> oh, that's good. Add on some necklaces for a little bit of glam, and then a city trilby. Summer work we're done. The fourth and final look. Let's hit the runway. Come on, Tracy! Yeah. Coming up, Tracy reveals her brand new look to her friends and family. And can I make it a high street hat trick and win for the third time in a row? And the winner is. <laughs> In just seconds, eight amazing outfits are going to go down that catwalk. Four from the British High Street that I've styled up and four from the high-end designers that Bricks has done. No adding extra accessories, Bricks, at the last minute. The tension's building backstage and I'm going for the trilogy. But before that, it's time for me to complete Tracy's fashion fix. Just a few weeks ago, this butch biker chick lived in jeans and T-shirts. I would say probably 80% of these can go in the bin. But with our promotion to mayor fast approaching, she was in a desperate need of my help. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. You need to be embarrassed. So I ditched her old clothes and replaced them with 24 key pieces that flatter her curves. I'm a lady. You're one hell of a lady. <laughs> and now my hair and makeup team have waved their magic wand. It's time to say goodbye to the ladette and hello to the lady. But what will Tracy think of her new look? Great. I think quite potentially the best reaction I've ever heard in my entire career. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, God, I love it. I love it. Do um, you have any idea at all <laughs> that you could look like this? No. No. Do you think you now feel confident enough to be able to go out there shopping, buying key pieces for you to dress his wonderful body? Yes, yeah? definitely. Tracy's gobsmacked with her glamorous new look, so will her friends and family give it a big thumbs up? A massive round of applause for the gorgeous, the fabulous Tracy. Come on, Tracy! She looks absolutely fantastic and so different. That's good. It's excellent. I'm very proud of her. <laughs> I'm <really> fantastic. <laughs> I've learned how to make myself feel good in, in what I wear and not be afraid to expose what I've got. I feel absolutely amazing. I can't believe this is me. <laughs> Since I've left Tracy, she's been riding high on her brand new image. Hello, oh, Tracy. Wow, you look fabulous. <laughs> By using the 24 key pieces I've given her, she's created loads of gorgeous and girly outfits suitable for work, rest and play. To be able to mix and match with very minimal effort has taught me so much about myself and my wardrobe and my shape. It's the whole package now. But now she's dressed to impress, is she ready to take on the title of Mayor of Seaford? I will feel very proud to serve my town and I'm, I'm hoping now that my town will be very proud to have me as their mayor. Tracy's transformation is a real triumph. And let's hope I'll be celebrating after tonight's catwalk showdown. Back in Birmingham, the tensions rising backstage as the models get ready to rock the runway. The audience will vote which collection they like best, but don't forget they don't know which one comes from the high street and which is designer. So let battle commence. <laughs> Really 
you don't know. But you I'm do so inside. I'm scared. No, I don't know. showcased all eight outfits and it's time for the audience to vote. They have no idea whose collection is whose, so will it be my high street or Brix's designer looks that steal the show? A pounding heart. With votes cast and counted, it's time to find out the results. OK, then, so, Brix, it's the moment of truth. So you now tell everyone who has won. And the winner is... Yes! 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 Yeah! I know, I know I've lost. It's rubbish, but it's making me stronger. He can be beaten. I've done it before. I'm coming back. I'm doing it again. The gloves are off. Next week, it's the halfway point in our catwalk competition, but is Brits more concerned with designer etiquette than winning? To wear white, you have to be very, very well-mannered. You can't be slopping at your bolognese, you know? Plus, can I help one woman who spent years of wearing other people's hand-me-downs find her fashion form? The elements even hate your outfit so much, God is trying to rip them away from me. And in wild, wild west Yorkshire, we're putting jeans through their paces at the Rotherham Rodeo. <laughs>